Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the Essie Fall Collection for this year, 2018. And it's inspired by the colors of fall in New York City. As a matter of fact, I think the collection is called Fall for NYC, or that may be the name of one of the polishes. But either way, the collection is inspired by New York City in the fall. This is a six piece collection, which most Etsy collections are, and I purchased mine from transdesign.com, but you can also purchase them from Ulta, Head to Toe Beauty, HB Beauty Bar, 88 Beauty, that's it. So each one of these colors are unique in their own right and they're all completely different to me. For some reason they make sense. It's such a cohesive fall collection. They have just the right amount of dusty, muted earthiness to them to make them look like a cohesive fall collection. There's a blog post by Birdie.com, that's B-Y-R-D-I-E, and they really describe each polish very well. I actually enjoyed it. I'll leave it linked below if you want to go check that out. Also, these are the first Essie polishes I've bought since they switched to their new brush. And let me tell you, my wide nail beds love this wide brush. It's like a wide paddle brush. It makes it so much easier to apply a polish without having so many different strokes, especially when it comes to a polish with lots of brush strokes. It makes it so much easier to apply the nail polish. So I'm going to show you comparisons of the old Essie brush versus the new one. So speaking of dupes or comparisons, I'll also be showing you possible dupes or comparisons for each polish in this six piece collection. I know you've probably seen blog posts and YouTube videos and Instagram posts about this collection, but you haven't seen them swatched by me. I'm actually wearing It Takes a West Village on my nails today because I was really impressed by how fall appropriate it is to be pink. It has blue purpley undertones to it that makes it not be so bubblegummy bright pink. It's such a good fall transition color. It's such a good fall color. So yeah, I'm really impressed by this color. As a matter of fact, I'm impressed by this whole collection because I've had this polish on for two days now and it hasn't chipped in not one place and I don't even have a top coat on, it's just two coats. As a matter of fact, coming up here in my swatch photos, I'm wearing two coats of each polish, except for Booties on Broadway because it's a one coater, but I have no top coat on any of them. That's just how good the formula is and how shiny they all are. So if you like to see how well these polishes swatch on my skin tone, then keep on watching. So first I'm showing you Say It Ain't Soho, and it's a bright, rusty orange metallic it has really tiny sparkles in it but they're so iridescent and reflective you got to see this polish in person as a matter of fact when i saw it i thought oh it looks just like one of those opi polishes that i have and it looks just like take the stage except for take the stage has a little bit more sparkle factor to it but these are exact dupes to me y'all so if you already have take the stage then there's no need to buy say it ain't soho because they're that close in comparison now this beautiful blue is called booties on Broadway and it's a super dark inky indigo navyish blue. It's super opaque and very pigmented. I would suggest wearing a base coat with this one, but it is a perfect one coater. I compared this polish to China Glaze's You Don't Know jacket from their fall collection from this year. And in the swatch photo here, I'm showing both of them with one coat and no top coat. Obviously, You Don't Know jacket is a more inky and shinier blue, but they're still really close in comparison to be in a fall collection from the same year from two mainstream polish brands. Next is a polish that I really wanted from this collection, especially after I got the yellow in the China Glaze collection. I really wanted this one. It's called Fall for NYC, and it's not as yellow as I thought it was gonna be. It's not so mustardy. It's more of a pumpkin orange cream than a mustard yellow, the way that Essie describes it. I read on a blog somewhere that somebody described this as New York City taxi cab yellow, and I've been to New York, but I guess I didn't see enough taxis to see that they were this color yellow so I don't know it's not yellow to me it's more pumpkiny tangerine creamy orange next I have stop drop and shop which is the perfect name if you've ever been to New York City if you go to the H&M that's on Times Square all you want to do is stop what you're doing and spend your whole day shopping so it's really the perfect name for a polish inspired by New York City it's a dusty magenta cream that I hear is really comparable to Angora Cardi which is a cult favorite from Essie but I do not currently own Angora 
Gore Cardi. So I compared it to OPI by popular vote, which was in the Washington DC collection from two or three years ago. And they're almost the same polish except for Stop Drop and Shop has still that more dusty quality. And the OPI polish just looks like a straight up shiny cream, but they're still pretty comparable. Every time I say the name of this polish, I can hear Alicia Keys singing the hook of that song. <laughs> Sadly, I did not get to see the Empire State Building because it was closed when I was there. But I do get to own this polish and it's called Empire Shade of Mine. And it's a silver metallic and it's a one coater, y'all. A one coater with brush strokes. But the brush strokes are so minimal. And I think that wide brush really reduces the amount of brush strokes that you get. And I went ahead and compared it to Chic Happens from the China Glaze collection from this year. Just because again, we have two silvers and two fall collections from the same year even though the china glaze one is a more of a lavendery silver i also compared it to essie's opera chic which is a more frosty chromey silver it actually makes empire shade of mine look more like a gray chromey metallic than a silver so since i just happen to have these two essies next to each other i decided to go ahead and show you how the new brush looks compared to the old one and last but not least we have it takes a west village which is a dusty rosy pink cream it's almost a one coater as well, but I decided to use two coats just to give it that full opacity that I felt like it needed. I really love this polish as a fall shade, but if you're someone that doesn't like to wear pink in the fall, then this could be a transition color for you that would go from summer to fall. And with that being said, I recall saying in my OPI Peru collection video that Suzu Will Catch You a Later is a good summer to fall transition pink. So I decided to compare these two to each other, and even though they both could be really really good fall transition colors. Susie Will Catch You Later is just a more purpley pink and It Takes a West Village is a lot deeper and dustier and it looks more fall to me. Okay, so obviously I have a favorite and obviously it's gonna be this blue. Booties on Broadway is such an awesome blue, y'all. It's such an awesome blue. And I know the blue in the China Glaze collection was a really good blue. It was more inky blue than this one. But this one just stands out a little bit more to me. And it's probably because that brush is so wide and it made application so much easier. And it dried so fast. And y'all know how I feel about blue. So right now, as for me and my blues in the fall, this one is the go for me. It just climbed right to the top of the list. But I really love to say it ain't soho just as much it's just so reflective and shiny it's just beautiful it's like it just jumps off your nails it's so shiny and gorgeous as a matter of fact if i had to number these polishes in the order that i like them it would probably look something like this so yeah i love both of these and i already have my fall polishes set aside for a favorites for fall nail polish video but i may or may not add these to the list because these are some really good fall polishes okay y'all that's all i have for this one short and sweet right so don't forget to subscribe to the channel ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos because you do not want to miss my fall nail polish favorites video that's coming up real soon also make sure you leave a comment below i really want to know compared to the china glaze collection and this collection which one do you like most? I know they have a lot of similarities as far as colors. Do you prefer a whole collection over another? Or do you just pick and choose the colors that you like from each one? Sound off in the comments below and let me know how you feel. Alrighty then, don't forget to come back and watch my fall nail polish favorites. That's coming up real soon. But as for this video, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.